And what is up YouTube? What is going on? It is Superman Abel coming at you with another review. Um, right after this review, I will be doing another review and it'll be based on Gwenpool. So stick around for that. Uh, I might upload that as soon as possible. But until then, let's get into this uh, Spider-Man Noir. It's basically just the back. Here's the packaging of it, the bottom. The side art, front, side again, back, the rest of the wave. I have Mysterio, Gwenpool, and Noir. I need Prowler, Punk, uh, Spider-Woman, and Lasher. So I need four more just to complete this uh, lizard. And here's a quick up top of the bio. Go ahead and pause it read it. Spider-Man logo, looks pretty good, looks pretty clean. So, let's get right into this and cut him open. I believe all of them right now are on Amazon for 20 except uh, Mysterio. those blasters whatever I know it doesn't come with uh, much besides the lizard arm for the bat piece which is the left hand and these two little funky guns I'm not even gonna take them out because they're crappy they're sculpted and details on them but they are just crappy and they're not really accurate with the figure come on Hasbro like is it too much to ask for a little bit originality? I mean, I know they lack in that department, but whatever. Um, basically, same body mold seen as Nick Fury, and I believe the Red Skull. Cape is pretty decent. Uh, one thing to mention before I get into articulation, he only comes with one holster, and it's a fairly decent holster. I like the details and sculpt worked in it looks real like if it's leather you know but i don't think you fit one of those stupid blasters i don't think it's designed or made to look like it'll fit one of those blasters in there so he should have came with two of them but whatever uh, i do like the pants uh not really much textured to be honest you can tell it's stripped off the mold looks like a fruit roll up after you unroll, after you unroll it, um, it's got that fake pleather look to it. I'm surprised the arms kind of match up well with the uh, jacket, but I'm pretty sure this has a more darker finish gloss than the cape itself. Hard to tell. Uh, this act, this color, and the shininess and glossiness actually matches the torso, the upper torso. And I think that's the Ghost Rider torso, if I'm not mistaken, too. Got a turtleneck. I'm digging the goggles. I'm digging the stitching on that. That looks pretty good. So there's a decent amount of sculpt work and details on this fig. The belt's decent. The belt buckle's uh, coated in silver, plated. Nice. Not bad. No interchangeable hands or heads. Um, you can take this off, but. Why even bother? Well, maybe you can't. Yeah, you could. But it'll look kind of weird just with that piece and that piece. But overall, decent fig. I like it. Uh, I wish I had one for myself. This one's my brother's. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, guys. Malfunction. Gotta keep the show going. So, I'm trying to see what else. Is there even a peg hole in the back? It's hard to tell if it's pegged in, but either way, it looks nice. So, let's get into articulation. The head can move up that much. He can look down that much. He could do a full 360, which 
which is nice. And just trying to look at the fig. I guess I'm already looking at like the posability of how I'm gonna have him posed. So, but man, he looks good. Now you guys can see like the glossiness of his arm and his chest compared to this cape. It's kind of a dull finish. Kind of moldy, a lot of lines through there, man. I don't like that big, where's that cut right there? But whatever. All right, articulation. His arms could do a full 360, kind of tight but you can get used to it it's got a it is a brain effect just got out the packaging it does got double jointed elbows wrist rotation they're on a disc and a peg so you will definitely like that ab crunch it's hard to get that ab crunch it's hard to tell but he's doing an ab crunch he could go down that much and back. Not that much. Looks regular to me, but does have waist rotation, thigh cut, no boot cut. This is the second fig with no boot cut. Um, the other one was Spider Man, right? So that's pretty st stupid. Double jointed knees. Stiff ankle rocker, ankle pivot. But it's, you know, brand new. Peg holes on the bottom. This figure is really, really stiff. I think with all the molding in the black, probably. I'm not sure. So, overall, good fig. Should have came with pistols or oh, revolvers. Good thing I have uh, my diamond select. Um western ones from the gunslinger that's the user here these things are really really nice the amount of details that diamond select put in it into these are epic handle the grip man these are these are really done nice so i know they're not really supposed to be that big but you know you can use your imagination for this We're always gonna have some type of issue with the uh, trigger fingers. I like to do is just basically pop them right into uh, the trigger. So I know they're a little bit too big, but whole purpose of Hasbro should be doing a better, finer job, I guess. Overall, uh, articulation is decent. I'm trying to see, trying to remember uh, while doing this review, who, where did I see these pants and uh, these boots? Are these from the Ghost Rider, the new one? Let me know in the comments below. I haven't opened it up or reviewed it. I'm expecting mine to come in. Uh, I probably will do that. Unboxing, I do have one, but it's uh, I picked it up from my younger brother since he doesn't have any Ghost Riders at all. I only have one, uh, MOC, and uh, I'm expecting a pre-order. But that kind of sucks. No boot rotation or boot cut right here. So that kind of like sucks on the articulation for the bottom portion of the figure. And the fact that they didn't give them guns or pistols, revolvers. I don't know. I believe they're snub nose or I'm not too sure. But... I'm digging the fig. I just wish it came with two holsters instead of one. And I wish it came with better guns. It's like, I would shave these down, but man, it's gonna mess up the sculpt work on them. Then Diamond Select did an awesome job on those, but he does need the, his, his revolvers. And he does miss a hat. Sorry, I didn't mention that. He's missing a hat hat possibly another holster two guns and this figure would have been solid but in the meantime for 
accepting it for what it is, I think it's actually a pretty decent fig. Uh, here's a 360 of the fig. See, in the sunlight, you're going to see this is shinier and glossier in the chest compared to this cape. So it's going to look mismatched for sure. But check out the scope work on those uh, goggles. There's the strap. You got the stitching on this head. Focus. And the goggles look real nice. There's really not that much paint, only gray. Silver on the goggles. Uh, silver on that turtleneck. Uh, gray pants. Silver on the belt buckle. There's no silver down here in these. I think there's belt. I think there's buckles. Yeah. There's two buckles right here. They just painted over it. They did not paint it silver. They could have added that little detail in there and make it a little bit more better. Looks like a shin guard. But you really can't see any. There's no boot cut. That's why they probably think, well, why not? Whatever. We'll leave we'll leave you guys with this detail of uh straps and a buckle, two buckles, but we'll just take away your uh boot cut. They won't know. You know, what what do these dumb consumers know? Anyways, actually we know a lot about figures. Originality, character. We know a lot of things. So overall I think it's a good fig to have if you're trying to build the Spideyverse. And my final thoughts is I think you should pick him up. He's worth getting uh, if you have extra pistols or a top hat, you know, uh, or even a fedora, you know. That will go great with Spider Noir. And like I said, if you're building the Spider-Verse, why not have him? He looks pretty good. You know, he's, I think, back in the 1930s, 40s or something like that. I think 30s. And fighting mobsters and stuff like that. So it's a pretty dope fig. Good storyline, good character. I did see him in Ultimate Spider-Man, the cartoon, in one episode, I believe. And I think I read only one comic, but it was a digital comic. Uh, that somebody sent to me a while back, and it was pretty good. And I think I also seen him on an episode of um, Hulk, Hulk Corpse, something like that. It was like all the all the incredible hawks, she hawk, savage hawk, um, and the incredible hawk. And I think they got like time travel to his error, and um, I think they had to fight it out with the gray hawk, and he was a mobster in that time era. It was pretty funny. It was a good ep cartoon episode. So I know a little bit about him, not that much, but um, if you guys want to get him, I suggest you do pick him up. Cool fake. You're going to have fun with him. Um, he's a different kind of Spider-Man. And um, he looks good. I'm not going to lie. He's a good looking fig. So peace out, everybody. I appreciate you guys all. Um, I hit 260. Shout out to my man, uh, co-worker, Juan. Thanks for being 260. You didn't have to, but uh, I guess word spreads that I got to YouTube, so that's fine. I don't. I don't really promote them, my, them uh, myself that much, but I have my days, you know, when not too tired from saving the world and all that to uh, promote myself. But I always do my best to do it on social media, and that's like the only main focus. I'm not on there for any other reasons, really. But uh, appreciate everybody's support. Keep doing what you're doing, your hunts, your reviews. Everybody's doing a fantastic, awesome job. And uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. Is he a pickup for you? Is he not going to be a pickup for you? Let me know. All right. Peace out, everybody. Have an epic uh, day. And keep doing your thing. Peace.